Listen. Now, I just, you know, we, we listen you know what we, 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 you know, what my favorite thing to do is where were you or what were you doing or like, or like, how did it happen when you found out, found out? So I do want to share because I was so excited. You, I had to wait like hours for to hear back from you today, but I was, I was outside, which is fine, which is totally fine. The problem, outside. the problem was that I was so excited. I'm in the middle of my very busy work day. I said, let me take a little break. Let me take a little scroll break. Let me, let me, let me, right. let me, let me get it. on the socials and just see what's happening in the streets. I open Instagram. And flames came out. Somebody I follow, Candace Bembo. I'm sure some people probably know her. But Candace Bembo, who, you know, her content is not about hip hop or anything like that. But she posted something. I want to say she posted. A lot of times she'll post like um, images of her like words, like kind of like you know how people post like their Twitter, um, their Twitter posts and whatever. And it says something like, "Wow, he he really said that." And I was like, "What's she talking about?" And then I went in the comments. And people, people were just like fire emojis and yup, he sure did. And I'm like, this sounds like something that I need to know. Yep. And I'm scrolling and this must have just happened because I'm scrolling and I'm not, I'm not finding anything. I'm like, why do I think this is a Kendrick verse? Well, Kendrick song. At that time, right. At that time, you ain't know. I'm like, why do I think this is a Kendrick response? And so, you know, I go digging on the internet because you got to go digging sometimes. And I went digging on Sometimes the you got to dig. And of course, I see <laughs> Variety. <laughs> air, to the air to the street. Variety you know what I'm saying? like Variety is like Lamar. this. Ear to the ground. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar drop Drake diss track six minute six minute song. So I'm like, how did I refresh Instagram? And there goes there goes Shade Room talking about Kendrick releases a six minute song seemingly dissing Drake. I'm like, seemingly. What are y'all talking about seemingly? I hadn't even listened to it yet. And I was like, y'all really using the word seemingly. <laughs> so I go to Amazon Music. I told y'all I had a free trial. I'll go to Amazon Music. It's not there. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> and then I go, and then I go to Spotify and I see it. It's there. Because, you know, Spotify be getting everything first. Yeah. So I see it on Spotify and I'm like, I got to listen to this. So, I, you know, again, I was on a break. So I, I listened. I said, oh. oh, wait a minute. I lied. I did not listen to it yet. I immediately, because I am the best co-host ever. I immediately message you. And I am like, I need you to call me right now. I need you to call me because I didn't want to tell you over text. Like I wanted to hear your reaction. I was really excited about what your reaction would be. Also, I'm like, I don't want you to go to the internet before talking to me. So now right. like, I'm sure once you looked at your messages, you were like, what is going on? There's like five text messages from me going, Hey, um, hello, please give me a call. It's not an emergency, but it is important. And then I saw a message right after that that said, fuck it, I'm going to just send it. <laughs> right. I was like, I can't wait. <laughs> I was like, okay, I don't, I don't know what this is. But something happened. <laughs> I'll wait. And then I saw a paragraph that started with Spotify. I said, hmm. Mm -hmm. Only one thing this could be, but it, but it can't be that. Right. 
Let me just call her like she asked. Mm-hmm. Yep, and by that at that point, I had I had listened to it several times actually, and that's what you said. And I was like, "Listen, he did his big one." <laughs> that is what you said. He, I was like, I really think he did his big one with this. <laughs> that's what you said. Yep, that's what you said. I know you're laughing because that, that's not something I say. <laughs> it's not. But but that's all right because you did say that on the phone. You did say that, and obviously at that point you listened to it. So <laughs> then we had a chat. Then we had a chat, which we had to cut short because we knew we had to pod. It's really hard sometimes because it's like you want to like talk your shit, but you can't because you got to save it for the pod. We're like a reality show, but it. not really. <laughs> Remember how I explained yeah. reality television the other day? That's exactly how podcasting works sometimes. Sometimes. But anyway, react. <laughs> That's funny. You sound like me. I say that on Man Cave all the time. I'm like, okay, so this is what happened. React. Right. And then they all sit there like this. Until someone gets brave enough to speak. First. And it's, right. very, it's very much Brady Bunch style with Man Cave. The way you were oh, looking yeah. around. Obviously, that's probably not the way it looks because everybody's looking at a screen. But you do you do kind of feel like, hey, up there. Right, right. <laughs> I'm looking around like that. I'm like, who's going to? Anyone? Anybody? You? You in the bottom? You want to go first? You? It's very Brady Bunch style. <laughs> Shout out to Man Cave and the fellas over there. Now, yes, absolutely. Let's talk Kendrick. So, context. Yep. First person shooter came out in October, mm-hmm. and they seemingly this Kendrick, and then months later. We all know now about the Billboard top number one for three or four weeks now. Like that, Kendrick came through and shook him up. And then about two weeks later, Drake responded with a leak that we didn't know if it was Drake or not for a while. We even heard it on different beats with different lyrics. Yep. And finally, Push Ups came out where Drake responded to many people, but mostly to Kendrick. Right. And that was the day after the second Future Metro album dropped. We still don't trust you. And now, two weeks later, Kendrick has responded with Euphoria. A six minute and like 40 second song. Let me get the timestamp correct here because this, the fact that this is this long is great. Um, There's a lot of things that are great, but we're going to get to it. Uh, Spotify got it at 6 minutes and 23 seconds Mm -hmm. I saw a longer one on YouTube with a couple more seconds but listen 6 plus minutes where he addresses Drake directly Um, and number one trending on Twitter at one point was Joe Budden because Joe Budden said on his podcast Mm -hmm. there's been a rumor going around that originally Kendrick was asked to be on First Person Shooter and when he was not on it, then people made it a, dri- a Kendrick diss of sorts. That was the rumor. And it seems like that rumor was true. And so people are very excited that Joe Budden was right. And I saw some hate, too. They called him Goofy. They was like, Goofy ass Joe Budden is right again. Ugh. I said, man, you can't even be right. Niggas be mad you be right. Yeah. Anyway, um, so it seems like all of this started because he wouldn't he wouldn't be on first person shooter, and uh, I think that's really interesting. So I like to start there. Okay. Um, he said there's three goats, and I I see two of them on stage kissing and hugging. <laughs> Yeah. 
Uh, Dad has been telling y'all about this friendship for a long time. And now Kendrick told y'all about it too. Called niggas by their first names, uh, excuse me, by their real names. He said, calling Aubrey. They don't want it. They know the crown is heavy. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by saying this. Okay. Uh, I'm glad that Kendrick responded. Mm -hmm. I'm glad he took his time. And I was a little nervous. I got to be honest, because when the track first starts, and it's like that slow R&B groove. Mm -hmm. I said, man, I, I really hope this ain't it. Because if this is what six minutes, I don't want to listen to six minutes of this. He knew y'all was going to underestimate him when that, when, when that, that, that beat. I said, this started. like spoken word type of thing mm -hmm. he got going on is cute, but it ain't. It ain't going to do what needs to be done here. I didn't because, think that. Because Drake fans, they think that Drake is Superman. Right. And they talking real greasy in these R&B records. Mm -hmm. And I was nervous. And as my, my nervousness started turning to a little bit of anxiety, I'm, just, oh, man, I'm starting to sweat. Because <laughs> this, is, this is making me nervous. He don't look like this is... It looked like this is about to happen for six minutes. Man, I truly hope that this doesn't... Oh, the beat just changed. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Oh. All right. Okay, we're here now. It was like... All right, now this sounds that like a beat record. <laughs> to me, that beat change was worth the wait. Because, yes, yeah, it goes on a little bit longer than I think it would normally be. Like, I don't... And maybe that's just impatient. <laughs> it could be but to yes. me it felt like because he was dissing them already he was but it felt like it would I, I never i never questioned whether the beat was going to change or not but i did i actually think i would have been surprised if the beat hadn't changed but but i remember thinking to myself so this is he's doing this a little bit too long like where's the when is the beat going to change? Right. And then it comes in and you're like, pleasant surprise. <laughs> it's like, this is good. I feel then good. Then the real beat we're, drops. We're, gonna, we're in a good spot. Let's keep, right. let's keep it going. But yeah, he, he oh. starts dissing him from the very beginning, even though it's just that slow, um, like you said, that R&B beat. He, he goes, he, he, he kind of cues us up. He's like... Right. Now, 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 right. now, now, kids. Right. You got to build up to it. So I'm going to build it. And, and, I'm going to build it slowly. And I'm not mad at that. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Because when that second beat dropped, I said, oh, okay. Now, now we ready. Yeah. Now we ready. And then I was getting quite used to that beat. But then they start taking out instruments and putting different instruments and just leaving the drums and the hi-hats. Yep. And then the beat changed a third time. I said, three that beats, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> that was one of my favorite parts. <laughs> he and, said, oh, everybody want to do, do two beats. All right. But it changed effortlessly. Like, the, the, the transition from one beat to the next, to me, was seamless. I feel like it isn't always that way. So, right. sometimes it's abrupt and I know that that's intentional like pe people are <laughs> very talented people are making these beats I don't think that I don't think that it's happening because they're not skilled at what they're doing but it actually makes me think of and I don't I'm not trying to bring up Drake in this moment but it makes me think of um oh my gosh what is what is what is I can't remember this song the name of the song right now um this uh with um <laughs> oh I don't know gosh. any records with shit on them. It's, it's not <laughs> clown. It's not Drake's song. Is it? Um, oh man. What's Kylie's baby daddy's name? 
Who? Travis Scott? Is it the Travis Scott song? Oh, um, yes. Uh, Sicko Mode. Sicko Mode is what I'm trying to think of. And I like Sicko Mode, but I feel like the beat change on, in, on Sicko Mode is very abrupt. Yeah. So this, and I, I, I am someone who, call it OCD, but like, I like symmetry. I like when things align and things are neat and things are, you know. So to me, this was very seamless, and I love that. I appreciated that very much. I was like, <laughs> you didn't shock me. You surprised me, but it was right. a good surprise. So, yeah, I, I love the big changes. I thought that was, I thought yeah. it was very skillfully done. And speaking of skill, I agree. Not only did he give us beat changes, he gave us voice changes as well. Yes, he was Cana- Canadian. I don't because because Drake's accent is not always <laughs> Canadian, but he was yep. Drake today. <laughs> yep, you didn't even know it was going to be Halloween. I did. I had no idea there were going to be there were going to be voice impressions. <laughs> I had no idea. Kendrick, Kendrick changed his voice quite a few times on this six minute record. And he also changed flows quite a few times on this six minute record. Which showed and his range. I have to be, yes, that's what I was about to say. I was about to say, I have to be honest. I am impressed. And, you know, I have said for many years that I think Kendrick is often overhyped. I think the same about Drake, but. Mm-hmm. there's less to say about Drake because I think that's a general thing we know. Yeah. Right? I don't think that I don't think too many people who are MCs or mm-hmm. fans of MCs or hardcore hip hop fans quote unquote uh, debate that. I think they all feel like yeah Drake is more pop than anything else. But a lot of people don't agree with me about Kendrick being overhyped. I felt that way for a long time. His first album came out and already it was, it's a classic. It's a classic as soon as it came out. Yeah. Um, it was compared to Nas Illmatic, like almost immediately. That left a bad taste in my mouth. So it was hard for me to like Kendrick from the beginning. And I've always thought, and I've said this here before, I've always felt like the way Kendrick is overhyped is comparable to LeBron, right? A lot of times LeBron could just do a regular dunk and people are like, oh my God, it was the greatest dunk ever. <laughs> and you're like, all right, man. okay. It was, it was a regular dunk. I got it. Thanks. They changed the three-point line to make it closer. LeBron starts shooting way more threes. People are like, oh my. And now he shoots threes. This is crazy. They don't like the way you like, talk right. about LeBron, you know. <laughs> I was like, all right, man. This is ridiculous. And I feel the same way about Kendrick. And I've said that here before. When uh, To Pimp a Butterfly came out. Okay, I was going to ask. It was like wasn't that. the first album. So it was. No. To Pimp a Butterfly is not his first album. It's not the first. So okay, so what was his first album? Because you just mentioned his first. Good album. Kid, Mad City. Okay, it was Good Kid, Mad, Mad City. Okay, because those were the two Good that kid, I Mad was City. trying to figure out which one. Which yeah. yeah. Good Kid, Mad City is bitch. Don't kill my vibe. Yeah. Pour up, drink, switch up, mm-hmm. drink. No, I know it. And I just mad other shit. Yeah. You know, actually, one of my favorite Kendrick songs is from that album. But I always felt like Section 80 is better, and real Kendrick fans, they know Section 80. Uh, quote unquote casual fans, they don't know Section 80. But anyway, I, I, I uh, don't when but I Butterfly, do know that. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Uh, when Pimp a Butterfly came out, it was like the LeBron thing where people were like, oh my God, did you hear this? This is the craziest shit ever. And I was like, Dead Prez been doing this for like 20 years. What are y'all talking about? Matt, this is not some super fly, new, spectacular, never done before shit. But he's skilled. And so I feel the same way a lot of times about both of them. Mm-hmm. I've said here before, I've said many times, I think they're both great. 
But people make them seem like the greatest shit since sliced bread, and I don't always agree. Yeah. Today, the, the LeBron James argument is a little different. He's in year 20 playing like he's in year five. Okay, fine. A little different. But I mean, throughout his career, that's how it's largely come off to me. And I felt a lot about Kendrick like that. Like, he did Unmixed, Unmastered, uh, which I think is just called Unmastered. And it was like, oh, my God, this is so innovative. I can't believe he put out music that's never been mixed before. It's like, yeah. like mad, mad people have done that for years. It's called mixtapes and mad other songs. And, in fact, people clown people who put out music that's not mixed and mastered. It's weird. Anyway, all of that to say... I was very impressed by this record. I, I'm going to say why. I think that today, Kendrick showed us how skilled and how creative he can be. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, you could do a six-minute six rap song. A seven, there's seven and eight-minute rap songs that are this records. Yeah. The game dropped 300 bars, and I think that was like nine minutes or something. Uh, Joe Budden has also had super long disc records. When he, dris when he dissed Drake, it was like six and a half minutes, the first record. Mm -hmm. um, or something like that. Anyway, um, so yes, that has been done before, mm -hmm. um, and that's great. But to switch flows many times, switch voices many times, switch the beat, switch the subject matter. It, yo, Kendrick showed us I am both skilled, I not even just not even both because there's multiple things, but he showed us I'm skilled, I'm creative, I'm ready for war, I'm witty, I'm tapped in because some of the things that he says in the in the verse, they're very recent things. And there are oh, things, things that, that have happened impactful. in the last two weeks. <laughs> right. Yeah. And even the things further back, right? Like he mentioned, I always forget the guy's name, YNB Melly or YNK Melly, whatever. But this is the guy that when we were doing, you were, I'm about to tell you, you're going to remember. Remember we did uh, on Let's Have a Real Conversation, we did a segment about the rapper who allegedly killed his friends. Yeah. And the record was used as evidence. Yeah. That's who he's talking about. Okay. That's YNK Melly or YNB Melly, whatever his name is. That's the guy who killed his quote unquote friends. And I that's why care, yeah. Kendrick said, I hope they're my friends, because if not, I'm I'm that guy. They gotta go. Yeah. I, I heard then he that. said, I know a lot of shit. I know I'll snitch so much, it'll make Gunner look like nobody. Uh, I heard him say that. I said, oh. <laughs> He said, I got a lot of shit to tell y'all. And he said, what did he say? He said, he said, um, if you keep telling lies, I'll, I'll start telling truths. And I was like, I love that line. Oh he my said, God. He said, <laughs> he said, if you don't stop telling lies, stop I'll, telling start lies I'll start telling truths. I'll start telling truths. Or something like that. I the words correct, but. It just came out today. Give us some credit. Right. We shouldn't even remember this much, probably. But And I'm surprised yes. I remember so much. because I never And that, it. my friends, is the caption. You about to see that caption on a lot of people's posts. Oh, yeah. Even, even me, I was like, you know, I'm not really a caption girl. I'm not really into... I, I, I would just be like <laughs> a, little, a little deuces or something in my captions. And <laughs> the two little black fingers. <laughs> That's me. Right. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, if it's not, not for you. It's all good. Right. Right. That's so it. I was like, oh, this is a cute little uh, this is a cute little line to put somewhere. Like I need to put this <laughs> I need to put this on my desk or something. Just, you know, give it a little shine, a little display. Yeah. Maybe somewhere, you know, behind here where the you know, we're gonna show the people my wall. Show them, man. They never get to see it. Never you know what I'm saying? We gotta move it people. the other way. We can't see Usher and them. All right, hold on. Let me try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying. All right. Show them. I'm going to show them. Mm -hmm. So we got yeah, Erica Badu, you know, show black girls, because black girls. We you got, got Wu-Tang is for the kids right there. We got Usher. And, no, we uh, can't see Usher. You moved it too far. You can't. Okay, let me see. Let me see. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Usher, Erica yeah. Badu, George Jefferson, because 
I don't know. It's George Jefferson. <laughs> I think it's pop culture, but... It's yeah. George Jefferson. Why not? I feel like there's space up there. I left spaces so I could add other stuff. There's totally space for me to add a Kendrick quote. And I, I don't know. Kendrick might wait, make the wall. Hey, listen. You know? I wouldn't be mad at that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I have more thoughts, but I spoke for quite some time. What are your thoughts? I mean, we can keep talking. I feel like the back and forth is good. What I'll say is, man, can we talk about Crody? (laughs) (laughs) You're bringing pets into the beef. What did the little kitty cat do to you, Kendrick? Oh my god, so funny. My man brought pets into it. <laughs> he said, he said, I'm gonna get your cat too. Like, Which is perfect. He didn't actually say that, but I'm just saying, I'm just being funny. Which is perfect because <laughs> once again, it to me goes back to for all the dogs. Right. Right. Uh, I just And let me let me say something. Mm-hmm. Speaking of speaking of things Kendrick said. I kind of feel bad for the rap girls because people are out there working hard. You know, they're yeah. out there putting their best music out. I want to talk about this, yes. They're speaking to their favorite producers, trying to get popping. Yeah. And Sexy read about to be the most famous woman rapper on the planet. Because not only does Sexy Red be chilling with Drake all the time, not only is she on his hit single, Rich Baby Daddy, but now she is in the beef. She Drake is her baddie friend. Hey, listen. <laughs> Drake is her baddie friend. Isn't that wild? <laughs> My man said, when you look at you in sexy red, you see two baddies. <laughs> oh, that is a good, that is, yo. <laughs> okay. I didn't know what we were getting, you know, with a Kendrick response. I knew it was going to be good. We talked about this. We said if Kendrick, if Kendrick responds, it's going right. to be good. I don't think we questioned that too much. No. But some of, some well, of the things well, he said. Well, I, I won't lie. I did say I believe it will be good, but I don't know for sure. Right. So I don't want to come up here and lie because they'll find old footage and be like, sir, sir, we right here. We got the transcript, sir. That's true. But (laughs) I just some of some of the lines in the song, I'm like, oh, okay. he he really got in his bag. Um, He talked about a lot of different things. I'm trying to think of. Some of the other stuff that he okay. Can oh, we talk? Well, we gotta you don't talk have about to quote BBLs. stuff. Just talk about how you feel about the record. No, but we gotta talk about BBLs for a second because this is this this goes hand <laughs> in hand with how I feel. Is this gonna be a problem? Mm-hmm. Like, are the boys gonna keep talking mm-hmm. about BBLs? I don't know because I don't know. But I'm my talking- man said, "Tell that to your core fans." Because you can't get no more abs or some shit like that. Oh, man. Listen, this BBL conversation that is happening among these men is just hilarious to me. You On know, one hand, I feel like... They want to be baddies, too. Well, Drake is a baddie, apparently. <laughs> and further, further evidence. But uh, one of the things that I think... I. I'm conflicted with all of the BBL talk because yes, it is funny, but I think there's also a bit of y'all don't want to hear this. I know, but there's also a bit of misogyny in it, right? Like there's also listen How? before you no, come on, because there's this idea that plastic surgery is like a woman thing, and that's what they're alluding to every time they took. All right. That's what they're alluding to every time they talk about Drake and, and, and these BBLs. They're making fun of him because of the fact that he's gotten work done and he's a man. If if it was a woman, it wouldn't be that deep. But it's not a woman. Right. 
So my point is, you know, if a man want to go get his go, go get his abs done, y'all really mad at that? <laughs> I don't want a man who got his abs done. But this is not about me. <laughs> I but like then how can you say natural. how can you say both of those things? Huh? Uh, I said I like my men au natural. Like I don't need <laughs> Well, and that that's what that's what that's what I'm saying. So how can you say both? How can you call it misogyny and then turn around and say, but I don't want my man to have that's it. That's a personal yeah. preference. I'm not talking about personal preferences right now. I'm talking about the fact that everybody keeps shaming Drake for these this this <laughs> this plastic surgery stuff, and I'm just like Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Listen, in beef, you talk about niggas. I know. I know. It's fun. It. 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 Like I said, it's funny. I'm not. I mean, I. I mean, I'm just. Nas said Jay Z had dick sucking lips. He did. Say that. He he did say that. <laughs> I so I mean, he he damn sure did say that. That's what he said. I mean, so I, my point is, in beef, you supposed to take out things that you could pick apart, yeah, and use against the person. No, you're right. You're right. I just feel like it's because then it comes off the it, it comes off the uh, the page when it comes to Rick Ross. <laughs> Rick Ross don't got nothing to do with it. Crody, Crody, Crody. Rick Rose don't have nothing to do with oh, this. Crody, and yet he finds Crody, himself. Crody. Just moments later, he finds himself involved in it. He want to be, yo. No, no, no. Hold on. Drake dissed him and he responded. He did. But so I'm, he's engaged. But He's not like Kanye. Who just showed up and decided we're we're energized about the elimination? No, that's not true. Drake Drake dissed him after he came out and played the um the Kendrick for he played the song, yeah, so on Instagram and was basically yeah, so. alluding to oh, oh I like this. All right, so we ain't <laughs> friends anyway, nigga. You got this. That's fine, but I'm just saying in terms of in terms of when Rick Ross got involved in it, Rick Ross was involved. Yeah, he, in you're right. Okay, you're right. I conceded. I conceded. So, you're right. But because exactly. he did let he did let him know, hey, we ain't we ain't fucking with you. Right. And then calling him but, uh, calling him white boy again and saying <laughs> saying that he don't got he don't keep calling him that. <laughs> and then saying he don't got enough niggas around around him. Well, which one is it, Rick Ross? Both. Okay, fair. <laughs> oh, awesome. so did I like the song? I think I made it clear that I do like the song. Um, okay. I love that it was long because I feel like we covered a lot of bases with it. Yes, I already said that I love um, the beat changes. I think that's my favorite part. Obviously, there's a lot of quips in there. I've I've mentioned some of them that stood out to me. So. Mm-hmm. Of course. I think this is, like I said, this was skillfully done. Um, I think that, like I said, Kendrick did his big one. <laughs> right. Ken- his big move? Ken- that was yeah. his big move? <laughs> Kendrick did his thing. Um, I think that, I mean, push-ups was cool, but. Come on. This, say it. This this the one. This okay. is the one. If it's if if we doing a matchup, this the one because Kendrick really just kind of. I mean, I know he mentioned other people, but Kendrick was really talking about Drake the whole time. Um, I mean, he didn't really he he mentioned other people as metaphors, similes, yeah, uh, references, but he wasn't dissing he anyone. Wasn't dissing well, well, you know, I mean, Cole got a little small, yeah, but. But you know, again, he's but not it was part a of that anymore. Um, yeah, he left, and and he's probably glad he left. Right. A lot of people have been saying that that he's probably sitting back, like you know what? Right. <laughs> you know what? This is actually a lot of fun to watch, and I'm just grateful that I am grown His, and mature, if, and I'm not getting in the weeds. 
and let them hash it out. And I'm going to just be over here, you know, running my businesses, working on the fall off. And I'll see y'all in a little bit. Right. Yep. If he doesn't diss Kanye, which I think J. Cole should, but if he doesn't diss Kanye, he should totally have a record mm -hmm. on his uh, fall off album called Dodge the Bullet about how he <laughs> avoided yeah. all the drama by apologizing and leaving. He absolutely should. I'm here for that. Totally would be the name of one of my songs if I was him. Dodge the Bullet. I would love that. I think that's great. Or Living Peacefully. Oh, oh. Unapologetic. Unapologetic. Yep. Uh, protecting my peace. They, all of those things. There you yeah, go. Yeah, he's he's got a lot of options there. Um, yep. I'm trying. So back to this record. Mm hmm. I'm trying to think of what else. Do you have a favorite line? Um. I think I said it earlier. Um, the one about truths and lies. Okay, so the end of the first beat. Okay. Which of the three beats you like better? It's hard to choose before you choose. I will say, I will give you grace before you even choose. It is hard to choose mm -hmm. because the second beat is what we hear the longest. Yeah, and I was going to say the second beat. Yeah, because they did a lot with that beat. Like, yes. they took out the horns and then put in other instruments, took out the this, you know, like they, they did a lot with that second beat. Yeah, the, sec the second beat, definitely. And maybe because we spent so much, we spent so much time with the second beat. Um, but, it makes sense. But yeah, I was going to say, though, <laughs> I just remembered the ending of the song. We don't want to hear you say nigga <laughs> no more. Crody, Crody, Crody. Crody. That's an interesting name for a cat, no? It's Canadian. That's what Drake said in the clip. Oh. That went around. Okay. Yeah, he said it's Canadian. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. We've got to call Drake. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Why would I, know I don't know what nobody's cat name means. <laughs> All these cat people be naming their cats crazy, crazy shit. Or real names. You be thinking a person's about to come? They'd be like, Robert. Rose. Robert? <laughs> Rose. Robert. Shit just meow. You'd be like, what the fuck, nigga? Robert is your cat? <laughs> They'd be like, yes, hold on. Yeah, but hold on because Donald is missing. Hold on. Donald? So I'd be like, nigga, is what is going on in here? Well, Crody, how Crody does it? Go Crody made the record. Listen. Drake's son made the record. The the next time Drake comes out with a song, you're probably gonna hear Crody meow. Yeah, and we should hear his son spit some bars. No, he shouldn't do that. Actually, not in, I'm not he not in a beef. No, no, I don't care if he does it like as an album track, like something that they did. That but I could, I'll be honest. Okay, are we done talking about the record? And you want to move to the comparison of the two of them, or yeah, you, or you still can, got more about yeah. the record? Yeah, it just All came right. out today. So, I gotta listen to it some more. But I think we covered most of the ba most of the bases. Okay, let me just wrap up then, because I still got more thoughts. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. No, do you um, think? I think he covered a lot of ground, which you said. Um, I have to be honest. I don't think that Kendrick is done. I know everyone is saying it's time for Drake to respond. Uh, but I, am, I, I feel confident after hearing the six minutes that Kendrick is hoping Drake responds. And the reason I say that is because he mentioned so much stuff. The rumor mm -hmm. about being on like that, um, you trying to send a cease and desist for like that, uh, just so much stuff he mentioned, you know, I was busy raising my son, something that, you know, you don't know nothing about that. Wait, the cease and desist line was about Tupac. No, 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 no. He said, he said you, sent a, you sent a cease and desist for the like that song? What happened? You ain't like that song? Oh, but there was a line about Tupac, right? He said, "I'd rather I'd rather die than let Tupac toss in his grave." 
Okay. Maybe that came right after or something, so I can I, I was associating the two. It's all good. Um yeah, listen, he covered the AI stuff. You know, he said I was busy, you know, teaching my son about life and you know how to be a man. You, you don't know nothing about that though. You know. So and just, you know. Sorry. Go ahead. Saying I hate you and then listing all the things because we didn't talk about that. Saying I hate you and then listing all the things I hate about you. You know, I think that was a DMX reference. Really? There's a clip of DMX at Breakfast Club years ago and they asked him, what do you think about Drake? He's like, I hate everything about this nigga. I hate the way he walks. I hate the way he talks. I hate his haircut. Oh, I don't like the way he says nigga. And I vaguely remember that. Now that you say that. I think that's I think that's what Kendrick was referencing. And if he was, that's super dope. Yeah. If he wasn't, it's funny either way because mm. then who knew look, you feel the same way. Yeah. Um, I like that he called himself a hater. He did. He did. I totally like that. Stand in it. I'm not gonna yeah. say stand on business, but stand in it. <laughs> and and he said another thing he hates. He said you know, and this is, you should probably say this, not me, but I'm going to say it. He said, we tired about hearing all the women. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. He said, we tired about hearing all the women that you dating, infusing themselves with real women. And when I say we, it ain't just me. I'm what the culture is feeling. He did say that. He bodied. He bodied all the women. He won just. Now up. that was misogyny. Oh yeah, but that you know what? Misogyny. They won't catch that. It was like all Drake's like, women. Is so Get out. <laughs> well, he said they confuse themselves with real women. So yeah, no, he said you know. it. He said it. So. Hmm. 